In 2021, a group of scientists build on the work started by biblical scholar and archaeologist Dr. Stephen Collins. They analyze the ruins at Tal El Hammam, which he believes may be the actual location of Sodom and Gomorrah, to try and pinpoint the cause of the destruction. Concentrating on the soil found in the destructive layer, they discover tiny, fractured sand grains called shocked quartz. These particles can only form under extreme pressure of 725,000 pounds per square inch or more. Using laboratory furnaces, researchers also find that the pottery and mud bricks at Tal El Hammam started to liquefy at temperatures above 2,700 degrees Fahrenheit, which is hotter than molten lava. This research team, they determined that everything about the destruction at Tal El Hammam is every bit as unique as what we see in a nuclear explosion. But of course, we're not talking about bombs. So the only scientific answer to that question is there was a cosmic event that exploded onto this site. This type of cosmic event is known as an airburst. Airbursts happen when a meteor comes into Earth's atmosphere at tens of thousands of miles an hour and then explodes. It is a violent and high heat event that destroys everything in its path. The resultant destruction we find at Tal al Hammam is exactly what one would predict if an airburst event had occurred. So, did a meteor really destroy Sodom and Gomorrah? And how can we scientifically be sure about these cosmic events? Well, because we've seen them happen on Earth before. On the morning of June 30th, 1908, just after 7 a.m., a massive explosion rocks a remote area in Siberia near the Tunguska River. Witnesses report a dazzling blue light streak across the sky, followed by a deafening blast. Shockwaves break windows and knock people off their feet hundreds of miles away. An area of forest the size of Rhode Island is instantly flattened. Scientists believe the Tunguska event, as it becomes known, is caused when a meteor roughly 150 to 200 feet in diameter explodes in the atmosphere, creating a devastating fireball. Luckily, that explosion occurred in remote Siberia. The only victims were trees and an unknown number of unfortunate reindeer. But it seems the citizens of Tal El Hammam aren't so lucky. Picture this. Sometime around 1650 BC, the people of Tal El Hammam are going about their day blissfully unaware it will be their last. Miles above, a 100-foot space rock is hurtling toward them at 38,000 miles per hour. When the meteor hits the atmosphere, it explodes into a massive fireball. The blast is a thousand times more powerful than the atom bomb at Hiroshima.